Harrison Ford's terrifying plane crash. What went wrong? We begin tonight with new details on the crash and Harrison's condition today. We thought it was going to explode. That gas was coming out in puddles. Oh, dude, he landed on the course. He was just slumped in there, and he was just moaning. He wasn't unconscious, but he wasn't in good shape. It was clean across. I mean, pretty lots of stitches. 53178, engine failure, immediate return. After making that emergency distress call, Harrison Ford is recovering today after surgery. The 72 year old was listed in fair to moderate condition last night. His publicist says, quote, the injuries sustained are not life threatening. To the plane down. Today, we're learning new details about Ford's terrifying crash in this World War II era single engine plane. Well, he's going to land on the golf course. Several golfers captured smartphone video of Ford's plane just before impact. Dude, his engine died. After it hit the top of the tree, it just pancaked down and skidded maybe 40 feet. Rick Dukakis watched the crash while waiting to tee off on the eighth hole. I started running towards the plane and we tried to pull him out. More people rushed to the scene and helped free the actor. Dukakis didn't recognize Ford at first. I just saw an, uh, uh, an older man with a big gash across the top of his head. It was, once we pulled him, I expected to see broken legs and arms, but I mean, when we started pulling him up, all of a sudden it was like, whoa, he's in one piece and doesn't look too bad. Ford crashed close to the edge of the runway where he took off just under 1,000 feet away. The actor and experienced pilot was uninjured in a helicopter crash in 1999. The following year, he crash landed a small plane in Nebraska. I'd like to congratulate the Blue Angels on their 60th anniversary. In 2006, Ford flew with the Navy's Blue Angels, even taking control of the jet himself for 20 minutes over Lake Michigan. It was fantastic. Thank you so much. It's a pretty visceral, raw experience. It looks like we're losing fuel. Of course, Ford has heroically flown in movies. Mayday, mayday. Both trap yourselves in. I'm going to make a jump to light speed. And he's talked to E.T. numerous times about his love of flying. It's about the thrill of seeing the world for, uh, in three dimensions. Each plane is, is different, has mm -hmm. to be handled differently. People who don't fly often think of uh, uh, flying as a risk sport. It's not at all. We all enjoy flying for different reasons. Hang on, Dad, we're going in! As Indiana Jones said once, uh, when asked if he could fly by his father, fly, yes, land, no. <laughs> That's classic Harrison Ford, humble and self-deprecating, but experts say, given the circumstances, he handled this emergency like a pro. It was uh, pretty awesome that it worked out the way it was. We will continue to update Harrison's condition and bring you all the latest developments.